Best-selling author Emma Straub is known for her funny, insightful, and heartfelt novels, one of which is a former Read with Jenna book club pick. It's called All Adults Here. Yeah, now Emma's latest novel is called This Time Tomorrow. It's a very personal story about a father and a daughter with a playful twist on time travel. It all starts when Alice wakes up on her 40th birthday to find herself back in 1996, reliving her wild 16th birthday party. Emma writes, it was like she had just woken up in a museum where she was the only exhibit. Everything in her room was exactly as it had been when she was 16. Her childhood decorations were unchanged, her high school crush looked better than ever, and her father is young and healthy again. Armed with a new perspective on life, will Alice try to change her story? Sold. <laughs> I mean, Sold. That was like a preview for a book I have to read. Luckily, I've already read it. Emma, you know how much I adore your writing. I've mm -hmm. loved it. My sister and I have passed your books back and forth. But this one is my favorite mm -hmm. because it's super personal. Will you talk about what you were going through when you wrote it? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I know, Jenna, you're, 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 you're I'm like a, a one-woman <laughs> fan club. <laughs> well, the fan club is, is mutual, so thank you. Um, but yeah, you know, I was writing, I started writing this time tomorrow, um, in the early months of the pandemic, um, because my father, who is a novelist, Peter Straub, was in the hospital mm. and I didn't know how to process it. And all I knew was that I wanted more time with him mm. and I wanted time with him, um, mm. in a way that felt like safe and comfortable and fun. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I made this little escape for, for both of us, mm -hmm. you know, and the first time I gave it to him, the first thing he said was, what page do I die on? <laughs> um, which is, that's, that's him. That's him. Um, but yeah, he's just, he's so proud. Wow. And, and, um, you know, I, and he, the, the luckiest thing for me about it was that I really wrote this book for myself. Um, but the fact that I could, that he came home and he was well enough and that mm. I could give it to him and share it with him and say, look at how, look at how much I love you. Was it COVID did he have or? No, no, no it was else. heart, heart related, okay. um, mm -hmm. multifaceted mm -hmm. sure. yes. <laughs> drama. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um, but he's all right. He's home. Yeah. yeah. You know, all of your books, like, I feel mm -hmm. like Emma is sort of sending delight in a, in a person. <laughs> I've said that. <laughs> and her book. <laughs> are the perfect summer reads to me because yeah. they're about people, which yeah. I'm fascinated with. I think, pe you know, people want to find right. company mm -hmm. and others. This one in particular for, for us of a certain mm -hmm. age is so much fun <laughs> because it takes place in the 90s yep. mm -hmm. on um, the Upper West Side mm -hmm. of Manhattan. First of all, all the references <laughs> anybody is going to be delighted by. But I, were you sort of wild as, as a youth? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Jenna, we're on television. <laughs> I mean, well, yes, kinda. I mean, yes, I suppose. <laughs> I was, I was, I was a little wild. Not, I had, mu I had friends who were much more wild. Okay, and friends that's who what were we say to ourselves. Wild. Yes, <laughs> that's what we say yes. to ourselves. You know, so and so. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but this character is a little bit, you know, She's a little bit. Wild. And there's a time travel aspect to this. Tell us about that. Part. Yeah. So, so Alice Stern, who's mm -hmm. the the main character of this book, is 40, mm -hmm. still living in her native New York City. Things are okay. Her mm -hmm. life isn't terrible, but it's certainly not what she thought it would be. Mm. And she goes out with her best friend for her 40th birthday mm. dinner. She drinks too much. She passes out, and when she wakes up again, she's in her I childhood can't. bedroom. Don't you love it? Is she the age that yes, she was when she was a kid? She, yes, she's sixteen in nineteen ninety six. Stop. Um, yeah, and the, I mean the '90s stuff was so much fun. It was mm. so much fun. <laughs> you know what? It's fun to read. Emma is also creating um, this into a film. She's writing it. She's okay. adapting it. What are you doing? I know. You have too wow. many jobs. I'm just trying to come and hang out with you guys as much as I can. And so that's that's what I'm doing. Well, well this congratulations. is... And we also, by the way, we also just have to say, if you're in New York City this summer and you want to go to a beautiful bookstore, mm -hmm. Books Are Magic mm. in Brooklyn, yeah. I've gone there for everything I possibly can. 
It's the best How? bookstore. So Emma's not only is a writer, she's a screenwriter, and she has a bookstore. She's and she's your a mother. Life. And living she's your, a daughter. You're leaving your perfect life. <laughs> Emma, thank you.